Mindfulness is as much about everyday life as it is about the short meditations that you do regularly during the day, in the morning and the evening. So there are a couple of particular little exercises which are very simple that you can do to help your general mindfulness. So if you have a particular walk that you do, a particular area that you walk, you walk to work, you walk down a certain corridor, that you just decide that every time you walk down that area, you're going to be as mindful and as present as possible. So you're going to deal with your tendency to do something else, to be preoccupied with something else, have trains of thought, or, uh, or just sort of cut off during that walk. So in that sort of clearing, I'm not going to do that, come back, that's not relevant, that's not about this, that can be thought about later. These thoughts are about the walking, bring them in, stay with them. Okay, so then you connect with the whole experience of walking down that area. And you're in touch with your body, general feeling of your body, letting awareness and sensitivity pervade what is going on. So you notice any holding, any tightness, any uh, general sense of openness, relaxation, looseness. You notice the quality of your walking. Is it smooth or is it jerky? You get the sense of, is there any pleasant or unpleasant sensations within that walking? So you open up to what's here in that walking and you basically stay with it. So you, do, you notice if your mind cuts off from something and you come back. And first of all, as usual, you, you notice the most obvious things and then you start to pay attention to the more subtle qualities, sensations, feelings, what's going on as you walk. And you start, you start to have a sense of what is here what is going on and coming into it and feeling it. So that is one little exercise which you can do, which in a way feeds into your general mindfulness, it informs your general mindfulness. It helps you notice through the day when your shoulders tighten or your face hardens so that the awareness can then help you let go of that. So another little exercise is something that you do all the time, is sit down and stand up from a chair. So for the next week, say, take on that every time you sit down and stand up, you're just going to notice what happens. You're going to notice the way that your gravity shifts, the muscle muscles start to hold you in a certain way, the way that your arms are, the way that you sit down. So you're just noticing what happens and coming into and being more present in the experience of something that you do all the time. Now, at a certain point, you might think, well, that's not very ergonomic or uh, economic of energy. I might try doing that a different way. But initially, it's all about just feeling and experiencing and coming in being present as you sit down. The third thing has to do with opening and closing doors. Now I think this is very interesting because we can get into the habit of opening and closing doors, doors that we know, uh, and we just do it in a certain way. We just pull them, we just close them, and we're not there actually present feeling the, the, the muscles and the arm and the wrist and the fingers and the hands as we do it, the swing of the body. So part of this mindfulness exercise is to actually come in to that motion, to actually feel it as you do it. What happens? Uh, and then you can have a sense of, well, are you using the appropriate effort? Too little, too much, just right? And then you can come into more subtle things. What does the handle feel like? It's got texture, maybe it has temperature. 
uh, what about the way that you hold it with your hands? You know, do you have it a full hold or just a little tentative hold? What happens? Now, as I said, later on you might choose to adjust the way you open closing doors, but initially it's just about noticing. So, three areas to, to be aware of. Walking, standing up and sitting, and opening and closing doors.